What's up everybody? It's your boy Jay Glove. I'm here to bring you another episode of Feel the Glove. Today I just wanted to talk about who are your idols? And, and think about that, like for real. Who are your idols? Now if your idol is Lil Wayne or something like that, and you believe smoking weed is all the life, you are a fucked up individual. Point blank period, not gonna sugarcoat it. It's just how it is. Weed and drinking and everything is not life. I personally don't smoke a drink and I don't judge anybody that does because if you do that, it's your lifestyle. But when you do that constantly and you do nothing else with your life, there is a problem. I'm not saying you can't go do that and do that because it's your life. You live it however you want it, but at the same time, why are you, it's, you're not accomplishing anything, like, if that's what you want to accomplish in life, you have some big issues that you need to, to figure out. You know what I'm saying, like, how many honestly can say they have a, a younger sibling, whatever, or a little kid that looks up to them? You don't see none of that nowadays. Remember the Boys and Girls Club when we were little? Huh? Remember that, the Big Brother program? How many of y'all are honestly doing that? Subtract five. Ain't nobody doing stuff like that. I personally would do it if I had the time, but I'm very busy. And I'm like, people got to stop worshiping celebrities as like the ultimate. Because Cameron or whoever else in their videos is, is smoking. Everybody thinks that's cool. That, which brings up another point. What happened to being original? That died out a long time ago. And I have a saying for today's society is, and y'all attempts to be different, y'all are all acting the same. I don't understand it. Five years ago, nobody was wearing gauges. Now everybody's wearing gauges. I'm not saying they're ugly or anything like that. I personally don't like them. But why didn't y'all get them five years ago when they weren't in style or anything like that? Stop trying to fit in with society. You are your own person. You came into this world with no friends besides your family. You don't have to fit in. Friends are okay. Yes, they're cool. But you're supposed to have friends that's going to ride for you no matter how you look, do, or whatever else. Not because of how you look, how you dress, or what new piercings you have in. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. Like, y'all got to get out of that popularity thing. That is crazy to me. For real, like... This popularity is, it's, like I said, y'all worshiping the wrong people. How many people want to say, or, or females want to say, they want to be like Maya Angelou, or nothing like that. That goes back to Trina and being the baddest bitch with the fattest ass. That's what that's going back to. That's what y'all worshiping, which is very, very sad. Because y'all got to get some better idols, some role models in y'all life. Do y'all really want these younger kids out here? Smoking and just drinking, not taking care of their responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Our next generation, y'all not even thinking about them. Y'all thinking about what y'all doing. Y'all just want to go do what y'all want, and that's fine. But at the same time, it's crazy. Like, I don't understand it at all. It's a lot of stuff I don't understand about people today. For real. Like, people do not take care of their responsibilities, and they're just taking... These young years. I heard a saying. Coach Jackson from Green Run High School. He told me. Work now and play later. Or play now and work later. Now do you want to be 30 years from now. Angling for tips as a waiter at IHOP. Think about it. Or would you rather be on a yacht. You know what I'm saying. Chilling or something like that. Or, or shopping sprees on the runways. And things like that. But y'all ain't thinking about the future. Y'all thinking about yourselves right now, like the, the present. You say we may die tomorrow, but, and that's very true. Nobody knows when their time is gone, but you plan for the future. You don't, you've woken up for 18, 19 years now, and you've woken up, you know what I'm saying? So you can plan for the future. I'm not saying you may get there, because nobody knows it. I mean, a bomb could drop right now, and this video could end. But at the same time, I'm planning for my future. Alright. You see what I'm saying? Y'all thinking about now and 
the only example I can relate to that is, say somebody cut an artery or something and had to go to the hospital, and they have, they'd be like, oh, you're going to be fine now, you can do this and do that, but in five years, you're not going to be able to walk. You really think people would stop doing what they was doing, you know what I'm saying, like, if they had that type of consequence? Maybe if somebody told them they would, but right now nobody's there to tell them that. They just think, five years I'm still going to be walking, so what's it matter? See where I'm going? So I'm like, just take care of your responsibilities. Like, plan ahead, do things like that. Life, right now, we're old. Like, to, to my uh, demographic, got one for real. We all teenagers. We all the same age and whatnot, 18, 19, 20. So... It's okay to have fun. I'm not saying you can't have fun or nothing. I mean, I have fun doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I love making videos. Look, look, you see my homeboy Sparky is here with me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you can still have fun. But I'm saying just take care of your responsibilities as well. Like, prime example. This right here is a bill for my car insurance. Notice it's not open. Why? Because I already paid it. I already paid it. There's no need for me to open that. My car insurance, I know I'm good for the next month, and I'm going to continue to pay it. I pay my cell phone bill also. I pay for my medical bills, all of that. So, like, all them dudes out there, which is another thing I want to get on. Think about this question. How many out there are single fathers and not single mothers? Hmm? At this age, anyway. My point is that a lot of y'all cannot answer that because there are not a lot of single fathers. I don't know one single father. Not one. He's either with his wife or the baby is with the mother. Which is sad. It takes two people to make a baby. Two. So it's two people that should be taking care of the baby. Not one. Get your responsibilities together. Just because you went and laid down with somebody and now y'all are not together does not mean that child is not yours. Take care of your responsibilities. That's all I'm saying. Like now, I have a photo shoot I have to go do. And then I might be going to a radio station. But I'm going to keep that hush-hush for now and surprise a lot of y'all. If I do or if I don't get up there. But I'll let y'all know. I'll keep y'all posted. But I'm going to go. Like I said, though, just take care of your responsibilities. That's all I'm saying. Because, like, it's... It's getting crazy out here. People is just... It's sad, you know, because I'm a good dude. I, I like to see good things happen. I like the positive and things. So when I see people out here just smoking and drinking, things like that, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Cause like I said, if you smoke or drink, you, you do you. But at the same time, if you're going to do that, take care of your responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? Stop worshipping Lil Wayne and thinking, oh, he's a... Uh, with Khalifa, 420, I want to smoke. Speaking of which, today is 420. I don't even want to get into that. You know what? I'm out of here. Take care of your responsibility. Oh, 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 oh. Before I forget, because I'm a man of my word, I promise Miss Coco Chanel would shout her out. So, shout out to Miss Coco Chanel. I got to go.